So usually these videos start with talking about a battery, all the features and benefits of it, how it's working out awesome. But actually this one's gonna start out with me putting the battery back in the box because it's going back to Wise. Let's talk about that. So my experience with Wise started out really good. It was really positive. The battery showed up as super light. Uh, took a charge just fine. Powered my other boat really well off the trolling motor. Had no issues with it. Um, it was all until I bought this guy. Uh, that's when it kind of went sideways. Is This is a battery capacity tester. It's like 80 something bucks, a super entry level. But what it does is it just creates a, a load, a 10 amp load. And you're able to verify what kind of capacity you can get out of one of your batteries. So I did that with a Fune battery, which I'll, I can link that one down below if you need to. But that one did really well. Um, it was 106 amp hours out of that battery, so it was uh, higher than advertised. And I said, well, let me go ahead and try the WISE battery. So I did the first test uh, with this battery capacity tester, and it came back at 80, 88 amp hours, which is not 100. Not 98, not 101, uh, like I was expecting to see, 80, 88. And so I shot them a message over on Amazon, basically saying, hey, you know, what's going on? This is 88 amp hours. What are we going to do about it? Uh, they asked me to do a test again, so I fully recorded it uh, with the GoPro, did a time lapse on it, and sent it over to them using their charger. So it's fully charged using their charger. And the second time I did the test, it came back at 71 amp hours. So somehow it dropped pretty significantly, probably a bad sell within the bunch, and it's bringing everybody down. So that was a pretty quick degradation, and you wouldn't really know it unless you were really monitoring your, your run times and knowing you know kind of where you're at and you say, hey, you know, it, it used to last me eight hours and now it's only lasting me six or five and a half. Um, unless you're fully using it, you won't really know or you test it. So I found that to be pretty valuable. I go back with them and say, it's doing 71 amp hours. What are we gonna do? They said, oh, well, sorry about that. And uh, would you take a $20 uh, gift card? Uh, no, I would not. Uh, I'm getting 70 amp hours instead of 100. 30% uh, reduction is, is a little bit more than that. So I said no. And they promptly sent me a return label, packed the battery up, I kept the original box. So I packed it back up on all the original things, shipped it over to them, it took three or four days to get there, shipped it over, I think, to California. And they promptly gave me a refund for it. So, all right, so where do we go from here? So I would say that Wise took care of the issue. Uh, it's a three month old battery that failed. Anytime you're in manufacturing of any sort, something's gonna fail, you have a warranty. They upheld it. I can say that. Now with that, um, you know, since I've got the taste of the Militech battery, I'm probably going to be more of a higher end, at least not, uh, click it up a few notches uh, to help make sure that we get better grade cells, better BMS, uh, maybe a little bit better support. You know, Wise, the, the communication between uh, Wise and myself was a bit clunky. Um, you know, it's not like I can just pick up the phone and call and I'm going to get a human on the other end that's going to have some knowledge of the battery. So I would, I would say that, right? You know, certainly consider how far you want your dollar to go. Um, if you want to get into lithium, I think the low budget ones have a place. Uh, I, I'm using the Fune battery in my boat right now for the electronics. I think that's fine. Um, but that said, you know, if you're going to really rely on it for like a tournament application, something where maybe some money's on the line, stick with the higher end brands would be my recommendation. Hope you found this valuable. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about that Militech battery that I'm talking about, it's a 36 volt battery running my trolling motor, and that thing is awesome. Check out the link right here. We'll see you next time.